Okay, so on this channel we talk a lot about best of to scanners for a certain feature or budget. But today I want to do something different and tell you which scanners I am not recommending. And before I get to first one, if you are wondering which scanner should you buy instead, on my website there is full buyer's guide you can choose by budget, by type of scanner or directly choose your brand and it will show you best scanners. So link for that guide will be in the description but now at number 5 we have Moto Power Code Reader. Very popular on Amazon, a lot of people buy this, but I was kind of disappointed. I mean, it has big screen, which is nice, but it doesn't show as much data. For example, for live data graphs, I could see only 4 values, while scanner in similar price range show me 15 different values. And that alone wouldn't be that bad, but worst part was that I tried it on 3 cars, and in 2 of them, it didn't work. One car I tried it on was Renault Kango and it didn't even power up and then for my old Passat I couldn't communicate. It worked only for my newer Toyota. So once again if you go to that buyer's guide I mentioned if you select code readers you will get a lot better picks to buy than this. Number 4 worst pick for OBD2 scanner is fixed. However I do recommend buying adapter, you can still buy this adapter, you can use it with fixed free app and then also use it with every other OBD2 app you will find in your app store, for example very good car scanner app. But I don't recommend buying the pro subscription because last time I checked it was around 120-130 dollars per year and basically only thing that subscription does. It will give you a bunch of features like AI mechanic, maybe future repair costs, estimate, but everything it gives you, you can get for free with ChatGBT. And I tried inputting my problem in the AI mechanic and then also inputting same problem in ChatGPT. And actually ChatGBT gave me a lot more useful advice. So recommending adapter, but definitely don't recommend their premium subscription. Now speaking about subscription costs, this is top down Carpal and again this is not bad scanner. It is actually fairly advanced, it can scan all control modules, it can do nice diagnostic report and even do some service procedures like resetting your oil interval. But subscription here is about I believe 30 dollars per year, 30 or 40, now I am not sure. But if you take another scanner from top down Top Scan Light, which has subscription about $20 more per year and price is basically same to get it. You will get a lot more functionality, like you can access every control module and not only read codes, but also see live data for that module. You can do bidirectional tests, you can do more service procedures, so just pay $20 more and you have like 3-4 times more functionality than with Top Down Carpal. At number 2, Worst OBD2 scanner I am not recommending is Garage Pro. This scanner I got for free to make review. Also Top Down Carpal I got for free, so I feel bad talking negatively about these scanners, but whatever, it is what it is. So, also I cannot say it's bad scanner. It is basic scanner, it has some more advanced functionality, but my problem with this scanner is price. This is lifetime full version, it is about $180. And even though that basic functionality like reading codes from engine, checking out live data in engine works very good, when you get to more advanced stuff, I tried testing these service procedures on bunch of cars and it did not work. So if all that advanced functionality will not work, we are paying $180 for adapter with functionality, then you can easily supplement with adapter for $15 and that is why I am not recommending this Garage Pro. And now before I tell you which is worst scanner I have ever tried, if you don't understand which type of scanner you might need for you and what you want to do with your scanner, I have full PDF guide, it is OBD scanner guide, very short but it will explain all types of OBD2 scanners so you will understand which type do you need, whether you want to check used cars, find odometer all bugs, or you want to diagnose car or unlock hidden features, this guide will help you understand which scanner type you need, so you will not spend more money than you need to. And it is free, you can download it in the description. So the absolutely 
worst scanner is currently connected not only it is worst value for money from not just all of these scanners on this table but also compared to every other obd2 scanner i have ever tried and currently up is expensive subscription which they are trying to hide when you go on their website so when you are buying Carly you don't even know that you are paying just for one year of subscription and no for lifetime use other than that they also use bunch of shady tactics they refuse to give refunds they also make it hard to cancel plan I know people that literally have to cancel their cards to get rid of this plan and then also it promise a lot of features it cannot do now don't forget that best scanners instead of these shitty ones you can find in that guide in description but if you want to know more about why Carly is so bad I made separate video you can watch it here